global data variables are here, and that means working with CMS integrations is a lot simpler. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up a blog on Web Studio in just four simple steps. We are going to sign up for a CMS. We're going to be using uh, Zenblog for this. Then we're going to copy the key from Zenblog, insert a template in Web Studio, paste the key, and done. All right, so we're using Zenblog. It's just a very simple headless blogging solution, and they also have a free tier. So we're going to sign up. Let's create the first blog. We have this nice slash command two to put in other stuff. Yep, I'm going to publish this, save it. Okay, that takes care of step one. Let's just copy the key out of Zenblog by going to settings and copying this blog ID right here. Next, let's insert the template in Web Studio. We're going to go to the marketplace, integrations, and we have all of these different integrations we can pick from. You can even just bring your own, but I'm going to choose Zenblog for now. And I'm going to insert the post page so we get a list of posts, the individual post page, and a sitemap so we can dynamically uh, show Google that we have all of these different URLs. Okay, we've inserted the template. Now, last step, let's paste the key. Let's go to the global route, and we can see we have these data variables. These are available on every single page. You can use them on every page. We've got the Zenblog ID. I'm going to paste in the one we copied from our blog, click out, and now we can see our first post is showing there. And because this is a global data variable, now we're going to navigate to a different page, the individual post page, and we're going to see that our post is going to show up right here. It's missing some data. It was just a very quick blog demonstration. But now you can see how easy it is to set up a blog because we have global data variables. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.